Hi guys, so this recipe is going to be roasted cauliflower. We're not going to break it in little parts. We're gonna leave it, we're gonna just quarter it and I'm gonna show you how to do it without it falling apart. Um, I know that most of my recipe have tahini, but you guys need to accept that. I'm Middle Eastern, I live on tahini. Um, it's my favorite thing again. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, start doing it. It's a very easy recipe actually. Uh, first thing you need to do is to take the leaves of the cauliflower out just by or cutting them or pulling them out. It's super simple. I'm not gonna take the whole stem out. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of it. And again, clean the leaves. Maybe just like cutting around, but not cutting the florets themselves, just the leaves around it. And we're doing this because we want the cauliflower to stay uh, whole when we roast it. It's gonna look very beautiful. It's gonna be very like nice presented. Um, all right, when you do that, you're just gonna quarter the cauliflower from the stem. So I'm making sure that I'm cutting the stem all, all the way to half, just like so. So it's holding it together. And then I'm just gonna do it again. Just gonna cut, let me put this in the garbage. I'm just gonna cut it again in half. So we have quarters. And perfect. Now we're gonna oil it, salt, and put it in the air fryer or the oven. In the oven, it's gonna take about an hour. You want it to be a, a brownish, not completely burned, because it's gonna go for another bake. In the oven for 400 degrees, it will take about an hour. In the air fryer, it's gonna take about 25 minutes. So again, I'm just gonna wrap it, good wrap with oil. You can use um, oil spray instead, but I just want good olive oil. I love the taste. So I'm just gonna wrap it all over gently so it's not gonna break too much. Like, treat it with love. Again, now we need to salt it. You wanna salt both, all parts. Again, we're gonna do it from high up. You don't need to put pepper right now. You can wait with the pepper. I'm gonna bring the air fryer basket. And I'm just going to place it. Let me just put it here. Cut side down. Perfect. So I'm gonna again put it on 400 degrees, the highest heat on my um, on my air fryer and the oven 400 degrees in the oven for about an hour, air fryer about 25 minutes. And while this is gonna be in the air fryer, we're gonna make the curry paste. Uh, we're mixing tahini um, half and half with water. This time, so one part to one part. Now we're gonna do one part of tahini to half part of water. That way the tahini will become thicker and we can really rub it on the cauliflower. So just gonna put a little bit of water, just to make it thicker. Um, curry powder, uh, cumin, sorry, cumin powder. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon. And curry powder, about two tablespoons. Why so much spices? We want it to be very well seasoned. Um, cayenne pepper, only if you like heat. I want it a little spicy, so I'm gonna put quarter cup of cayenne pepper. And a little salt. We already salted the cauliflower, so just season it just for the tahini itself. Grab a spoon and you mix it. And you saw the texture of the tahini before, now when I'm gonna mix it, you're gonna see that the tahini will become actually thicker and thicker and thicker. Yep. So now it's already becoming thicker. You see, it's becoming really like a paste. That's the texture that you want, so it will hold better on the tahini. Perfect. You can taste it just to make sure it's seasoned well. But maybe, hmm. Do I want more spicy? A little more spicy. 
Oh no, the spice just kicked. I don't want any more spicy, it's really spicy. All right guys, so we waited actually less than 25 minutes. It took us only 15 minutes and the air fryer is really fast. Like it's probably the best investment you will make in the kitchen. A hundred dollar for a good one, that's enough. You don't need to buy the $300 ones. It's a waste of money. Just get something good, go to Amazon, find something with good reviews. Um, look at this, after 15 minutes, it will take really more than an hour in the oven to get to these results. Um, they're completely roasted. Look how beautiful they're roasted. It's so hot. I'm just gonna put them on um, on the chopping board. We're gonna put them back in a minute. I just need to rub them with the tahini. Okay. So the tahini paste we made with a curry powder. I need to rub um, the cauliflower in, in, uh, in it uh, with my hands. The best way is to use the hands. Now. Because they have turmeric in it, if I use my hands, my hands gonna turn yellow. We don't want that to happen. So you can use a glove or you can just take oil spray. The oil spray actually creates barrier between your hands and the turmeric. And then you can just wash your hands with soap and all the color will go away. And you will see it when I'm doing it. All right, so just rub your hands, some tahini, and rub it on. Oh my God, that looks so good. Try to rub it inside, but don't rub this part. Keep it clean. But be generous with the tahini. The more you're gonna put, you're gonna have more flavor in there. It tastes really, really good. All right, done with the tahini. Now we're gonna dip the cauliflower in sunflower seeds. I have here about half a cup. Um, if you have raw sunflower seeds, it's better, but I don't have, so I'm gonna use um, roasted one. It's still okay. Uh, make sure they're not salted. If they're salted, so use less salt in your, um, in your mixture. So it's not gonna be as salty, so I just, Wrap both sides with uh, the sunflower seeds and I'm just gonna put it back into the air fryer. Now again, in the oven, it will take 20 minutes. In the air fryer, we need about five more minutes. Super fast. All right, so very, just a quick spray with oil and back into uh, the air fryer for another five minutes. It's 330. 40 degrees, something around that. You don't want it to burn. You want the seeds just to get warm and the tahini to sit on the cauliflower. Okay. All right, so just another minute until it's done. Um, you're gonna see that the cauliflower is gonna be perfect color, golden, beautiful. Um, actually prepared here my favorite plate, um, just I place some arugula on it. I think it looks good. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the cauliflower to beep in just a couple seconds. Couple seconds. I feel it. I have the power. One. I did it. Look at this. Guys, this is looks so good. That looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna grab it gently. Ooh. Uh, cilantro goes really well with Indian flavors. So I'm just gonna chop very roughly. That's it. Sprinkle it on the top. It tastes better. A little bit of olive oil. And it's a wrap. Enjoy. Curried cauliflower. 